Hello American Girl fans, um, this is my first video attempt. Don't know how this is going to go, so we'll see. Um, hopefully the vo volume control is good, we'll see. I haven't done this before, but um, I got a cool unboxing. Something really cool I found. Um, so yeah, let me just grab the box real quick. Sorry, I guess I should have dug out the paper first, but uh, let's see which one we got here. Ah, yes, the one I wanted to do first. Ah. All right, let's see what we got here. So this little, this lady I already have, but I got a really great deal if I got the two together. So, and I've been wanting the other one for a while. So here we have Marie Grace. So I guess you can guess which the other one's gonna be. Uh, let's see how she is. And we got a little bit of tissue paper on top of her. Okay, let's see. Um, yeah, we'll just take her out. All this tissue paper. box out of the way. So here we go. This is Marie Grace. Had original hat. She's got a little necklace. And she even has her little fan, the original box, and the book. Very cool. So I already have this one. I think the first one I got is the hair is in better condition. Limbs seem to be tight. Stay on our leg. Seems to still be pretty good. All right, let's go on to the other one, the one we're all waiting for. Well, I'm waiting for. <laughs> Maybe you're not. Sorry for all the noise. I did not realize there was so much tissue paper in here. I'm gonna just take the lid back on her, and then we'll do my first view of the other one. Okay, sorry about that. And yes, I do not have a clue how to edit, so you're just gonna have to bear with me. I am definitely an amateur. Oh, yeah, sorry, I forgot to show you. Yep, there, it's Cecile. I guess she's actually pronounced Cecile. Yeah, a little concerned about blue tissue paper, but okay. Let's get this all out of here before it does anything. Oh, oh yes, she's a beauty. Look at that lovely lady. So these were both from, I got off eBay. This lady was selling for her friend. Um, I guess she's getting rid of her collection. Let's see, let's put your hat up a little bit so you can see your beautiful eyes. There we go. So she was selling this one for 280, the other one for 180. I asked if she might do a little lower. I guess she already marked her down, Cecile down to like, 280, she was originally over 300, um, back down to more of a reasonable, what people were selling her for. And so I was like, hey, you know, I really don't want to separate the pair. You know, maybe if you did a deal with the two together and like the shipping was gonna be $20 a piece. So I'm like, that's really expensive. She comes back and asks, hey, well, you know what? I was thinking uh, maybe you could do 440 with free, sh for the 440 with free shipping. I'll try saying that three times fast. So yeah. I got them both for two twenty a piece. I don't it's somewhere in the box, but uh, this one actually came with the six books box set, not just a single book. Meet Cecile. Um, but yeah, so she's got her. Let's see. I don't know where her meat neck. The chain's there. You can obviously see if you zoom in. But I don't know where the necklace part is. Somewhere behind her hair. <laughs> so I don't want to mess her hair up. I'm actually impressed because I like I did not realize this dress was so dark. I'm like, it looks so much lighter on online pictures. The hat seems true to color. Oh my word, I am so excited. <laughs> so we had stopped collecting for a long time. So like when we were collecting was right around the time that Josefina debuted. And um, I think right after her debut and also right after the debut of The Girl of Today. Yeah, I'm really dating myself now. So it was like mom had always collected dolls, Barbies, other dolls, etc. And so we'd always want to do American Girl. But then it's like, oh, these are so expensive. And that was like when we started, it was $82 for 
for one doll without the accessories, just the doll, the paperback book. So we started with Kirsten. Um, <laughs> and I think we have like over 30 now. We had like around 20 when we stopped collecting. It was prior to the Be Forever rebrand. But it was when they got over a hundred dollars. I was like, okay, this is getting way out of hand. I'm like, and the outfit started coming up to thirty dollars an outfit. Now they're like forty. I'm like, so thirty doesn't seem so bad now. Anyway, but yeah, so we stopped collecting for like around a decade. Kept, you know, I kept checking out what the girl of the year was and such. But yeah, um, and we did get Caroline. So the Caroline was like one of the last ones around the time she debuted because well, we're in New York State. So yeah, we kind of got to have the girl that goes with the war of what was it, eighteen twelve? Yeah. So. Um, Got back into collecting this year. Actually started out with the Genie and Jack and a Love Shack fancy clearance on American Girl. I think I got almost the entire collection except for the beret for the Genie and Jack. And I think I was missing one pair of shoes and the accessories for the Love Shack fancy collection. Then had a crazy lot I found on eBay. Four American Girl dolls, 18 inch, one bitty baby, one dog, a ton of outfits. Like for, say, um, it was like 500 with shipping and tax. So it was like really crazy deal that got me hooked back into it we picked up where we left off by getting julian rebecca for easter because at that time we skipped them because they were coming out with the best friends collection then they started retiring them so we're trying to get all the older characters for the historical line and the stuff that went with their collection so yeah so yeah i just realized we have a little bit of a light issue <laughs> anywho um, so yeah, so these girls had retired, were out and retired, and we never got them. But now it's like, I really wanted to get them. So I did finally find Marie Grace. It took five attempts to get Marie Grace, to get Cecile with Marie Grace. First two, I got scammed on eBay. Um, the second one was, or the third one is the one we have. Second one I got only because I wanted the Christmas dress that was on her, the party outfit. Um, and then this one makes number five. So it took five Marie Graces to get one Cecile. And I was a little more picky on this one because I don't know how to redo these girls. So I had to find one that was as perfect as possible. So this girl and her friend were only displayed. It was an adult collector and she had a ton of stuff on eBay too. I think she had like some of Kaya's horses like still in the box. So like I think everything, a lot of her stuff was still in the box. So I am super stoked and excited to have this now. So <laughs> um, hopefully this video came out so I don't have to redo it, but um, we'll see. Hopefully the volume is good. I have no clue what I'm doing. So be gracious and merciful in the comment section, please. Because I know probably, probably looks horrendous and is obvious that I don't have a clue what I'm doing. So, but if you could just, you know, maybe if anyone has tips, maybe if anyone has, you know, suggestions, hey, maybe if you live in New York State and are actually close, maybe you can actually hook up with me and we can actually figure this out. Preferably a guy, no offense to the ladies. But yeah, this is kind of my thing. I know it's a little different. A guy collector but apparently from what i found out there are a lot of <clears throat> guy male collectors <coughs> excuse me so i guess before i have a coughing fit i'll just end the video right now so you don't have to deal with that but this is her and i put marie graves back in the box but i am excited to have the rest of her accessories i think i did get the fan with the christmas outfit but i did not get the necklace so now i have the haul outfit and i have the box i know i'm a little weird i like the boxes it's I know probably people don't like the boxes, but I like the boxes, especially if you had to move or you had to store. You wanted to store some of the dolls away because you have too many and you don't have room to put them all out. <laughs> you know, that is what I'm dealing with at the moment. So, but this is a very beautiful doll. Very, very. Oh, maybe I should give it up so you can see the boots too. There we go. I'll show you the necklace, but I'm not exactly sure where it is and I don't really want to mess with her hair on camera. So we'll just leave it at that and I'll figure that out later. But very cool. Very cool. I actually had gotten a Caroline lot to get some of Caroline stuff that we never got. And the crazy thing was they actually had not only Caroline's gloves for the Christmas outfit, but they also had Cecile's gloves and her necklace. So I was like, wait a minute, these are from the girl I'm trying to get. So that was kind of cool, but I got a little bit of them before. But yeah, so I have a few Marie Grace, a couple Marie, Marie Graces I'll probably be selling, but I'm not sure how I'm doing that just yet. There's a Facebook group I'm part of, so we'll see. Maybe I'll try it out on there first, but anyway, so that's Cecilia and Marie Grace. But this is the one I was really after, so sorry, she got the day. She got to be in the shot a lot more today. Well, I'm almost at the 10 minute mark. That's where I wanted to cut off. So, you know, there's this thing called like and subscribe. But I think you've already heard enough videos and know the drill. So... 
To all the American girls and American boys out there, have a great day.